Hi all, here's message of the day for the 7th of January 22. So let's see what's going on. Might resonate with a few of you, others it may not. Uh, please check me out on spiritconnections.uk, okay, my, my website. If you do want to read in, just go through to the shop tab as well. But let's see what's going on for the collective. 7th of January, let's have a look. Here we go. Hmm. Seven Swords, Knight of Swords, the Tower. We've got the King of Swords, reversed. We've got the Four of Cups. Hmm. Got a mixed bunch here, yeah? Yes, let's have a look. So, right, and we've got the Empress re reversed. And I'm going to start with the Empress reversed here, okay? So it is that it was reversed. Um, so, yeah, with that, there's... Obviously, new year, new beginnings, new way forward. But I just there, there's just things where we we're stuck in a cycle. We can't get out of a cycle. We know what we need to do. We're scared of doing it. We're scared of what's going to be there in front of us, aren't we? But I also feel, you know, around you, maybe the last three months, six months, even twelve months, trouble's been brewing. We've got the tower here. Okay, like something is about. You know, look, to explode, so there's trouble ahead, okay? This this also, you, you know, but again, when I say trouble ahead, the, 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 you might be going through some shit at the moment, uh, you know, with a, with a lot of things, and we are help. We well, Obviously, we're responsible for our lives, so, and whatever we put out there, and whatever we do, we are responsible. Some people don't like taking responsibility or don't like change, so we're stuck in that cycle. But looking and reading the cards... We do want a fresh new start, we do want new beginnings, but we do not know how to do it or get there. So, you know, but this again, it's like, you know, how many people have been in a relationship and shit's hit the fan, oh, and then we, we, we split up, but then we go back and then it's like 10 times worse than what it was the first time or the second time. So, we, we, that scenario here, that we've got this craziness, okay? But again, there's, there's just something that's simmering, waiting to go off, don't get me wrong. It's, it's going to be calm again, it's going to be okay, but then the shit will hit the fan again, because it cycles, isn't it? But but this is where, we, we, with the Empress reversed, we are stuck. We want new beginnings, we want a fresh new start, but there isn't. it's not happening, it really isn't. So this is where we've got to change things around. Now, the first card that come out was the, was the Seven of Swords. So, you know, with this, this is where... I feel people are taking from you, okay? They're they're basically draining the life out of you. Arguments, disagreements, obviously, with the with the swords. But it's like they're taking your energy. So it, it, again, it's it's like there's perhaps jealousy around you. So this could be friends, family, an ex, or whatever, where they keep taking, but they're holding you up from where you should be going. Obviously, with the swords, it's like you know, let's cut the shit out of life. Let's move on. But there is just things. What's, you know, with the tower, with the empress, there's things where we've got to step out of our comfort zone to move forward. Now, I've also got the knight of swords here. So we've got the, the first two cards were swords, okay, the seven and the knight. So, yes, we have got arguments, disagreements. We've got craziness around us at the moment. But, you know, with the swords, I always want to say, right, with the sword, we're cutting that shit. We're going to move forward. But if we move forward, we're going to create drama and chaos and troubles brewing with the tower so it's like the better the devil we know than the devil we don't and that's so much more comfortable to do that isn't it but realistically it's not the way we should be doing it but you know we should be breaking away and moving forward but this is where there's a lot of you stuck do i go left or go right what do i do but all in all it's about yourself and this is about you loving yourself you accepting who you are you believing who you are and you've got this you can do this but again there's a lot of you just absolutely stuck. You know, we've got the we've got the four of cups here. So, you you know, emotions running high. You know, you, you know, there's t there's perhaps tears, but there's no more tears coming out because we've gone past that. But this is about yourself here. This is about you finding who you are and actually what you want out of life. If you're prepared to same shit different day, keep putting up with craziness stay where you are if you're not we've got to change this around you know i do want to say there is happiness there for you but the pathway you're perhaps on at the moment or the situation you're in 
then no, that's never going to happen. It's the mirage. It's it's illusions kind of thing. But if we stand in our power to move forward, then yes, there is that happy ever after there. There is absolutely fantastic things there. But there is just somebody around you. They're never going to change. They're playing games. This could be a partner, an ex, and whatever. So they're, they're, they're set on making you suffer, destroying you. You don't know if you've got them or you have or you haven't. Uh, you know, but we've got the King of Swords reversed here. So they are never going to change. They're going to be like they always are, you know, playing games kind of thing. And it's like you've got to tread on eggshells around that person. You know, if it's an ex and they are, you know, you've split up, they are in the background playing games and you're wondering what they're going to be doing next or what they're doing. But this is having like uh, the mental torture within your head around all this or, you know, all trouble's brewing or, you know, and, it, and, and you're thinking about that. But you're not moving on because you're stuck with the with the Empress reverse. But again, this is where an ex has most probably taken a lot a lot of stuff from you here with, with the Seven of Swords here. And you know, with that, you've got to, you know, stand in your own power, cut cut things away to move on. You know, in the end, right? Time. With time, truth always comes out. Always the motives come out, but you just have to give it time. But here, you've with, with this here, they, with an X or whatever, they're playing games. There is something that's not there. There, you know what I mean. But you've got you stop thinking about things. Action. You've got to get things done for you here, because you have got that happy ever after. Here. You have got completion here the, with the ten. So there is a happy ending. Is it where you are at the moment with your situation? If you're arguing, if you're battling, if you're this, if you're that. No, you've got to be a new pathway. I'll be straight, you know. I am straight, you, you, you know. But it is, you, you know, but the amount of people out there who have actually, you know, gone on a different pathway and changed their life and changed things. And it's like, they go, oh my God, why did I hold myself up for three years or two years or this or that, but the thing is, and it's like they're kicking themselves because, well, I should have done it five years ago, but I didn't. But, you know, that's lessons, isn't it? You know, there's so many people out there that's got to find the courage or the strength to take that step forward or even, you know, shut doors with exes and tell them, tell them what's what, we're not doing this no more. No, leave me alone. You know, it's, it's crazy. I mean, I deal with people, like, you know, the people who know me personally, the, the work that I do, I deal with a lot of people and they're crackers, but I tell them straight, seriously, I really do with, you know, do they, oh, they're coming back, they're gonna be this. No, they're not. They're with someone else, it ain't gonna happen. They hate me for that, because I'm telling them the truth, but it is the truth. You know, the, 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 the work I do with the lines and stuff, they are crackers, some of these people, but I will tell them the truth, because, True first, doesn't it? But it also makes us aware of moving forward. Remember, I've been through shit. Everyone's been through shit, you know? And they are our lessons to actually realise there is, a, there is a, a light at the end of the tunnel. It's just having that confidence and to actually shut the door and say no to people. And it's, you know, and that is the hardest part. But, you know, out of all of this, if you find yourself, find who you really are, you have got this. And that ex will never, ever step back in your life again. You know what I mean? They, you know, you can put that, shut that door kind of thing. But again, they're all right having, doing whatever. You know, it, it is absolutely crazy. It, re it really is, you know, with life, with things. But, you know, I've just flicked another card here, the magician card. Now this, you can make the magic happen. You know, whatever you give energy, you will get it. It'll work. You'll make it work, you know? So... In a relationship, if it's not great, if you give it energy, you're going to iron the creases out. Yeah, it's going to be good for so long, but then it will go back to the same shit, different day routine, you know? So, but this is about you. You've got the magic, you've got the energy to get to your happy ever after. But that is where we can't kid ourselves anymore. We've got to focus on ourselves to move forward to what we really want out of life. And, you know, and it is, it is there. I held my, my life up for two, three years being trying to be the best I can and being right and this and that in in overstepping 
the line, giving us giving one hundred percent to myself, maybe two hundred percent to myself, but I always got shit back. Now I don't. Now I'm to the point. Protect my energies. I go with it. I go with the flow. You know, don't care what people say about me or this and that or make lies up about me. But I know me. I know what's in here and what I give. And this is where people do try to drain your energy, try to tap you. Oh, no one will have you. They won't this, you this, you this, you this. Bullshit. You know, we've got to start with us, love ourselves, believe in ourselves here. The magician card here, a lot of you out there stand in your own power. You've got this even with new a new job or work. Love yourself, believe in you, and you have got this. That is the thing. You have got this. Whatever you give energy to, you can manifest it. Going to leave the love with you on that. Hope you understand that. Bless you.